good morning my dear children welcome back to our science class how are you all i hope you all are as fine okay tell me which chapter we are learning as very good chapter number 5 am i right as very good chapter number Fine. What's the title we are learning? You are very good. Plant life, right? As say the spelling of plant. As P L A N T. Plant. As life. L I F E. Plant life. Okay, my dear children. Today we are going to revise chapter number five. That is, plant life. Are you ready? Okay, let's revise. Plants are living things, just like us. We have body parts that perform different functions. Similarly. Plants also have different parts that perform different functions to help them live. Plants have two main parts: the root and the shoot. The root grows below ground. The shoot grows above ground. The root helps the plant to stay alive. Roots absorb water, minerals, and nutrients from the soil that it is planted in, which helps it to grow into a healthy plant. Roots act like an anchor. They help plants to stay in place in the soil so that they don't fall over. All parts of a plant that are above the ground form the shoot. This includes the stem, leaves, buds, flowers, fruits, and seeds. The stem is the main part of the shoot. The leaves, buds, flowers, and fruits grow on it. The stem helps plants to grow upright. It carries the water, minerals, and nutrients from the roots up to the leaves. Did you know that the leaves of plants use sunlight to create their own food? The stem carries this food to the rest of the plant. Leaves grow on the stem. There are many different leaves all around us. Some are long and spiky. Some are small and round. Did you know that leaves can help us to identify the plant we are looking at? Flowers are the most beautiful part of a plant. They are usually very colorful and can smell sweet. Did you know that the color and smell of flowers is actually to help attract birds and insects? Birds and certain insects help plants to reproduce. Some flowers also grow into fruits after a while, and these fruits have seeds inside. Some examples include apples, mangoes, and watermelon. Did you know that a seed actually contains a baby plant inside it? If you plant a seed in soil and it gets enough air, food, sunlight, and water, it will begin growing into a new plant. This process is called germination. You may have seen germination in action. If you planted something in your garden and watched it grow into a beautiful plant, 
plants are living organisms you all know that plants are living organisms our body parts perform different functions am i right as our body has many parts and it perform different functions like that plants also have many parts they also have many parts and it performs different functions okay they perform many many functions different different functions and it is divided into two main parts what are they louder as very good root next one as shoot okay root and shoot i can tell me what is the meaning of root as very good the part of a plant which grows below the ground is called root the part of the plant which grows as below the ground what are the parts comes under root system louder as very good root then what is shoot system as the parts of a plant that grows above the ground am i right as the parts of a plant grow above the ground what are the parts as stem leaves flowers fruits buds seeds and so on right yes they are as shoot first root there are two main types of roots in plants what are they as tap roots and fiber roots tap root some plants like carrot radish beet root they have one main root with thinner roots growing from it that is as tap root okay main root and with thinner roots one main root with as yes, thinner roots these roots grow deep into the soil okay most trees have yes tap root some examples are carrots beans turnips and mustard okay they have one thick root that is called tap root then fibrous root some plants like grasses wheat coconut they don't have a main root they have a bunch of small roots they are called fibrous root they have many thin hairy like roots okay they have a bushy appearance some examples are grass wheat onion garlic okay they are called fibrous root then tell me what are the functions of roots we learned as very good first one it absorbs as water minerals and other nutrients right as it absorbs water mineral and other nutrients from the as soil then it help to fix the plant firmly into the soil okay root help to fix the plant firmly into the soil then third as some plants as prepare extra food by them is stored where as inside their roots some plants they store food inside their as roots what are they as carrots turnips radishes right as they stored extra food in their roots let's revise shoot system you all know the part of a plant grows above the soil comes under shoot system it includes stem leaves buds fruits seeds right as first one stem the stem grows above the ground 
okay it grows above the ground it is the main part of the shoot stem is the main part of the shoot leaves buds flowers fruits they grow on the stem okay they grow on the stem the functions of stem are first one it helps a plant to grow straight and upright second one it acts as a pipeline third one it carries the food made by the leaves for stem of some plants they store food prepared by the leaves okay leaf leaves grow on stems okay they have different shapes sizes and colors too we can identify a plant by looking at its leaf like plantain leaf mango leaf then tamarind leaf we can easily identify a plant by looking at its leaf leaves of some plants such as cabbage fenugreek lettuce spinach they store food in them like roots and like a stem okay leaves of some plants such as cabbage fenugreek lettuce spinach they have store food in them okay then green leaves make food for the plant in the presence of air water and sunlight okay they contain a green color substance called chlorophyll okay chlorophyll chlorophyll due to the presence of chlorophyll the leaves are in has green color okay chlorophyll and also the leaves are called kitchen of green plants okay leaves are also called kitchen of green plants then flowers you all know buds grow into flowers they are bright in color and they have a sweet smell it attracts the birds insects and the flowers are some plants such as cauliflower broccoli they store food in them like leaves like stem and root okay flowers also like uh, cauliflower and broccoli they store food in them most flowers they become fruits after some time okay then move to fruit a fruit may have one or many seeds inside it how many seeds does a mango has as very good only one seed right as one seed mango has one seed then what about watermelon is many seeds right yes so we do not eat seeds of fruits like apples pears right and seeds they are different in shapes sizes and colors we eat some seeds like pulses wheat gram yes very good corn p and b right s yes. what are the seeds of fruits we do not eat s yes. mango s yes. apple right s yes. spices spices are also seeds okay mustard cumin methi we keep these seeds in a kitchen then germination aki tell me what is the meaning of germination as the process by which a seed grows in the as new plant in our last class we learned right as the process by which a new plant starts growing from a seed a baby plant it needs a water and then light soil to grow into a big and healthy plant so in this chapter 
the part of a plant which grows below the ground is called root then the part of the plant which grows above the ground form the shoot includes stem flowers fruits buds then there are two types of roots in plants tap and fibrous then the stem acts as a pipeline and it carries water minerals and nutrients from the roots to the soil and the leaves leaves it grows from the stem and it contains a green colored substance called chlorophyll okay due to the presence of chlorophyll the leaves are in green color then you all know buds grow into flowers then it changes into fruits okay not all the flowers most flowers become fruits then the fruit may have one or many seeds inside it okay like mango has one seed and watermelon has many seeds then this the seed contains a baby plant inside it this process a seed grows into a new plant is called as germination okay my dear children i hope you understood okay my dear children this is your homework do it and send it to me through whatsapp okay match the columns and filling the blanks with the correct words today we revised a chapter number 5 that is plant life again my dear children that's all for today thank you for watching bye bye